All right, here we go. All right, Mewtwo King. So you did a really good job in Grands. You know, Winners Finals was a close set. It's close. Yeah. But you kind of demolished Grand Finals. Pretty good. Um, yeah. So what changed from Grand Finals from Winners, winners to Grands? I was just experimenting the matchup. Yeah. Well, what right. things did you notice that were different from Winners Finals? That you're like, oh yeah, I should be doing this. Just memorizing what he did as we were playing. So it was less. It was less character. There's your trophy, by the way. You want this, dude. So you're saying it was less character specific and more just reading Esam. More adapting to Esam, like his habits. Okay. Like as um. I was playing throughout the matches, I was just and I kept a mental note of what he was doing throughout the matches, so that now in the long run I'd be better off. So did did Pikachu's lack of kill power like? make you change the way you play, like, you realize certain situations, oh wait, he can't kill me. Yeah, Zero actually told me just to recover high, and if I recover low, I'm gonna get gimped. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna mix that randomly, like, because I like mixing it up, uh, but uh, then I just kept getting gimped. <laughs> I actually want to talk to you about that, that new up B technology. You, you figured it out earlier today, where you just charge the up B, you let go, and you just wiggled your control stick randomly, and then you start experimenting it more, the more you went through bracket, you know what I'm talking about? Wait. You up be really high, and then you <coughs> just went crazy on oh, the stage. I figured, no, that's a gimmick. It's not even good. I just, I, I literally only do it because <laughs> people aren't used to it. Like my reason for doing it is people aren't used to the to the situation. They're they're probably more expecting, oh, this is how I intercept the side B, and that. So I'm like, if I throw something there, they've never been experienced. Like a, it's basically a new matchup. <laughs> yeah, I noticed because you did. He he killed your side B twice. With a charge forward smash. Yeah, I, I, I did that. that top side yeah, beat I did. I did that pure off gimmick. Or I figured. Side beat off the top I figured he's high. used to the side B, right? So I'll just do something wacky and crazy. That there's no way he's used to this. Yeah. There's no way ever did he's spam that. You know. Now were there bans in, in the three out of five? Yes. Uh, at first, I banned Battlefield and Duck Hunt, and then I decided, wait, Delfino and Battlefield. Duck Hunt's pretty standard. And Battlefield and uh, Halberd. You didn't no, ban sorry, Delfino. No, no, no. Sorry, I banned Delfino. Delfino and Battlefield, the second yeah, set. Yeah, now... Because he beat me twice. I don't like Battlefield for... Oh, no, it's just Pika he's too for good Pikachu. If, he's too good if his up B cancels. That's true. I, I won't be able to catch him. Or he, he'll have so many mix-ups. You also get a side B. Like, like Diddy Kong on Battlefield also gets to use his side B to escape a lot of situations because of the platforms, too. So, yeah, I guess you favor not dealing the with that. The ceiling's also attack. higher on Battlefield. That's bad for you, that's true. Yeah, and then it's a smaller stage, so you can throw me off. And the up he cancels, so I factored those three things in. Did you notice that Dunk Hunt has a pretty low ceiling? No, I had no idea. I just figured it was pretty FD-like. So it I figured pretty low. FD with little gimmicks, but it's it's still FD. Yeah, I was actually I did surprised, I I did surprised I did good he brought you there, FD. because like, it has a low ceiling, and you like two to three stocked him. I think uh, that one's the only three stock. Yeah, but he can, he, it's ca kind of obvious when he's giving up. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I like, mean, it's well, tough. I, well, I, if he if he defeats himself in his head, he just plays a lot worse and more obvious. Yeah, because he's not like thinking, you know. All right, like, so where, his, where are you his mentality crumbles, or he just he just starts to be like, oh, I lost this game instead of trying to come back. I hear. So where are you headed to after this? Um, what, what's your plans for the next couple weeks? Paragon, then MVG, and then Apex. All right, where d when's MVG? What's that? MVG is a huge tournament series uh, for Super Smash Bros. 4 and Melee. Mm -hmm. Might add PM, not sure yet. Uh, on January 24th and so March... the week before Apex? Yes, and March 21st. March 21st is the first major. It's going to be like 2,000 or 2,500 pop bonus. Okay. It's in Arizona it's for Melee and Smash 4. And it's going to be streamed on twitch.tv slash MVG underscore leak. Okay. That's the tag I was wearing all the time. Yeah, the yeah. Whole time. I saw that. Um, so, coming in today, did you think you were going to lose to Isam? Or I figured it was a coin flip. Coin flip? Okay. I figured it was a coin flip. But the thing is, I've always been good against him in Brawl, Project M, and, Sma and Melee. Like, I've always I've always done well against him. Even back when mm -hmm. Zero would be, like, losing to him, or he would be he would be upsetting other top man knights, uh, I would always be I would always fight him very well in every Smash game. So, now maybe I'm just good against him as a player. I hear you. I might just be player to player good against him. Now you didn't get to play Reflex in bracket. Did you play him in any friendlies? No. Oh, so you still have no idea what the Warrior matchup is. Uh, Do you have any in the wa the Warrior matchup in every other Smash game is outspace him. In brawl, it's outspace him, and in s in because there's low priority. Every every game Warrior's in the matchup is outspace him. All right. So um, that my strategy would just be outspace him because Warrior relies on getting in and then getting those. Farts, but if you just keep out of his range the whole time, that's a good way to. That's his weakness. Like, it's a huge weakness he has. Now, coming into Apex, how confident are you mm. in Smash I just, Four? It's not even about confidence. I just don't. 
I guess I'm just kind of laid back nowadays. I just don't care that much. Like, I'm going to try my best, you know, Smash 4 Melee, but I don't... I'm not stressing it. It's, a, it's, a, it's just another tourney. Well, you seem to do better when you're not stressing it, so... Yeah, but... You know, it's hard to convince yourself that, but I, I'm actually at getting to the point where I just, I just don't care. You know, I, mean, I kind of just want to get into Twitch, YouTube. Yeah. I, got, I want to stream more, pick up more characters. Twitch.tv slash Mewtwo King. Oh yeah, make sure and follow <laughs> him there. Yes, uh, please follow that. Yeah, like I noticed, like at Big House, you were very relaxed. Like yeah, I just didn't care. You beat Mango in Winners Finals. You're like, and I don't care. I'm going Marth. I want to play Marth. Whatever. Yeah. And then I, c I cared at Evo so much, and then I played horrible, <laughs> and then I didn't care at these other tourneys, and I did good. Yeah, I hear. All right, I, well guess, I guess it's very much of a mentality thing. Do your quick plugs. Give them your YouTube, your Twitch, your Facebook, your uh, Twitter. The YouTube is the real Mewtwo. It's <laughs> YouTube.com slash the real Mewtwo King. Okay. I probably need to change that URL. It's kind of corny. I need to. Because I had one that's Mewtwo King, but that's I don't use that one anymore. All right. Keep going. Keep going. And, uh, you know, Twitch.tv slash Mewtwo King. That's, I'm going to be using that a lot. And Twitch.tv slash MVG underscore leak. That's going to have. That's, that channel is going to host a lot of major tournaments for Smash 4 and Melee and possibly Project Them a lot in 2015, 2016 and onwards. So cool, cool. if everybody would give that a follow, that's going to be a big Twitch channel for Smash. All right. Um, all right. It was good talking to you, dude. I'll see you next weekend yep. and the week after that. 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 Guys, real quick. Oh, man. Real quick. Um, Yeah, this recording.